Hey everybody, pack opening addict. My uh, LGS's last box of Time Spiral Remastered. So, went there, stopped by, was gonna get something else, and uh, lo and behold, this is it. After this, they don't have any more. So, my luck through the first two boxes wasn't exactly what I would call good. So, the third one's gotta be a charm, right? Let's find out. Um, this is probably gonna be. The last newer video I post for a bit, I'm going to be in the process of moving. So, there will just be some older videos that will play. Older recordings. Okay. Let's get started on some time spiral. So, I haven't really been fully checking how this is holding up. Um, I assume that some of the lesser... Old borders are starting to drop, whereas for a while there, every single one of them was at least a buck. So I assume that's probably true at this point, because there's been enough of them opened. Extra Pate for the Mediocre, and a Johnny's Pride Mate for a decent original, and Psychotic Episode for the Common Foil. So I know that the Time Spiral and Foil is still hanging out around, what, 600, 550, somewhere in that neighborhood. Sorry, not Time Spiral. Thought Seas. But a lot of them have kind of fallen down. Um, at this point, even the Mythics in this set, there's a, just a handful of, of good Mythics, and the rest have dropped down. Hey, all right, Solid Rare, Summoner's Pact, and Mystic Sanctuary. It's pretty cool. Okay, and then we said insect. So this is probably my last taste of this. I figure what the heck. Let's give it a shot. It is cool. I was kind of a naysayer at first. That's why I only reserved one box. Thought to myself, oh yeah, they'll they'll go down in price. Yeah, so much for that. Okay, greater gargadon. And consumer in aberration. Yeah, nothing. Okay. So just have some fun with this. Still not much in the uncommon or common slots that are truly worth stopping at. You know, I will uh, separate out the uncommons. Okay, and then hey, Angel's Grace. Okay. Cool card. And is that Dovin's Veto? That's pretty cool. Okay. Not familiar with that card. Mystical Teachings for the Uncommon Foil. So this is one of those sets. I know I said it in the previous videos, but it does not have a foil in every pack. So there is some foil multiplier on some of the cards. Not all of them, though. A card that's not wanted is still a card that's not wanted. Calciform Pools, Crosin Grip, Coalition Relic, okay. Everflowing Chalice, that's a that's a decent one. So the hope is to get two old border foils. That's kind of the hope out of these boxes. You can do that. The odds are there for that. The old border foils are still what's driving these boxes. To the moon. Walk the Aeons. Hey, Eternal Witness Old. That is cool. For me personally, that is awesome. That's one of my favorite cards. That's cool. Okay. And just a seal of Primordium. I really like this playmat. It screams the screams the facts of what you should be doing, not what I'm doing. But, if nobody opens packs, then there's no singles to buy, so. Hive Stone, okay. Stinkweed Imp. And Rift Elemental Foil, okay. So nothing spicy yet. You know, we're just kind of going along, got some decent stuff. Eternal Witness was a nice little pull. You know, Angel's Grey, Summer's Packed. Not too shabby. 
it is still 36 packs in the box, so there's a lot of packs to get through. Okay. Celestial Crusader. I know not a value, but I still think it's an awesome card. Tolerio West. Okay. A decent rare. Hey, Vanquisher's Banner. Cool. That is one of the... I guess you can call it, what, top 20 old, old borders? Which is uh, essentially another version of, well, I guess not the same. I was going to say it's another version of Coat of Arms, but it's definitely not the same. Hey, Pongify. Cool. Guy is Anthem still as an uncommon. I think it's really cool. Magus of the Future for the Pointless Rare. Hey, Goblin Engineer from uh, very recently Modern Horizons. Cool. Okay, so so far the first two boxes I've opened, at the very end of the boxes, I actually got a little bit of heat. I hope this one's not the same. Please give it to me sooner. Please don't make me wait. And Miri the Cursed. Okay. And Natali Primal Storm. Okay. No mythics yet. <laughs> it's just, this set just it likes. I did not notice though in the last opening that the Teferi is a mythic in this set, which doesn't make a lot of sense considering it was uh, recently a rare in. Iconic Masters that you could get uh, by the bucket full. You have in my Dryad. Oh my god! And as I'm talking about the fact that I'm not pulling any Mythics, we pull the most valuable non-foil card in the set, Sliver Legion. That is, that is money. Oh, that is fantastic. Okay. Well, I can safe to say this box is already going better than my previous ones. And we got Waste. The colorless land in the old border that actually uh, moves for a couple bucks. So look at that. Sliver Legion. Just like that. Okay. Well, we're on a much better path than the previous boxes. Ith, High Arcanist, and Blighted Woodland. Okay. Still takes quite a bit. To actually get to the current $300 price point that I got this at. And I think now on uh, eBay and TCG, these are over $300 a box. So I think we're definitely pushing $325, $350. And, and at that price point, it, it just this becomes a little tougher, right? It's hitting your uh, EV on a, or hitting the, the box value, I guess you can call it, requires cards like this. As I've proven in my first two. Gemstone Caverns. Okay. All right. So now we've got number one and number two best mythics of the set. And I am dropping stuff. And Leyline of the Void. One of the best of the old borders you can get. And a foil old border. Rectos Charm. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty. Okay. This box is going way better. Way better. We still have half a box to go. Wow. So this is the kind of experience that I've seen others have online. And which just made me think that it was cherry picked. But maybe you can actually have that kind of experience. Where this set just feels amazing. Okay. Let's get to Curry Keep. Yeah, this is solid. Arcades, the strategist. Awesome. Elder Dragon. You know what? I'm going to separate out that Rectos Charm. I'm going to put that over there. Because any kind of foil on those old borders. And then, is it Porpory nodes in the foil? Okay. So foil rare is a little weak, but that's okay. That's okay. We're doing very well so far. All right. Mangara of Corridor for the Pointless Rare. And Burrell, Chief of Compliance. 
That's pretty cool. Yeah. Cheap casting costs, makes your instance of sorceries cost less. Whenever you get a spell countered, you may draw a card. Then you have to discard a card. Okay. But it makes all your spells and instant sorceries or instance uh, cost less. Which it's blue, so you know. That's probably most of your deck. Sedge Sliver. Okay. Solid. Mirror Entity. And Children of Corliss. And that's it. Okay, I think we're definitely at the halfway point. We still have, on average, two more Mythics to go. We pulled a nice early foil uh, Old Border. So hopefully there'll be one more of those. That'd be pretty spicy. We bought the Wicked. Ooh, Uborg. Okay, and one of the best rares of the set. Beast Whisperer. And yeah, nothing. So far, this this is going okay. It's going this is really going pretty sweet. All right, time spiral. All right, I'm sorry for hating on you. I mean, not really, because you, you gave me junky boxes before. Pulmonic sliver, nature's claim. Okay, it's pretty cool in the old border. Still hoping for another pact of negation. That would make me that would please me. Okay, and fungus sliver. Shriek Maw. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That, that's a foil ponder. That is a foil ponder. That is a foil old border ponder. That I, 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 hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry, everybody. Hold on. Holy crap. What, what, what is that thing? Like 300 bucks? Foil ponder. Old border. I, I, <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, my God. I, I, I don't even know what to say. Okay. So... Time Spiral wanted to screw me on the first two boxes to really make it up to me on the, my last box. That, that's what's happening here. It just said, you know, we feel bad for you. Jay Ballard, we feel really bad for you. Hey, Reclamation Sage. You know, um, you know, we, we, just gave you, we just gave you junk. And one had no mythics. Second one had one decent mythic and three trash mythics. You know, the, the, the foils we gave you weren't particularly good. Yeah, that first box was cheap, so you were fine. So you know what? Here's a foil ponder. That's spectacular. That is, that is amazing. Okay. I don't even know what to think right now. Okay, Glittering Wish and Grenzo, Dungeon Warden. Oh, we haven't even hit anything spicy out of the, the, the regular non-foil version yet. Eh. And there's going to be at least one of those in here. I guess Leyline maybe counts. Maybe. Damnation! Is that the third best mythic of the set? I'm going to move this ponder very gently off to the side here because you get your own home. Wow! So what? I, I got number one, number two, and number three best mythics of this set in one box. And Slimefoot the Stowaway. And a Foil Poultrice Sliver. Like, this is real life right now. This is happening. This, this is not made up. This isn't, this isn't a cherry-picked video. All right, all right, fine. All right, fine. So everybody didn't cherry-pick their best boxes necessarily. I still think some did. But Aeon Chronicler... Disdain, full stroke. Okay. And a foil, uncommon, fungal breaches. I mean, even without that ponder, I, I'm, I'm doing okay here. Then you're just going to throw that ponder in there. Wow. It looks so cool, too. Seriously, the, the way they did the foiling 
on these old borders because they didn't foil the, the whole entire thing. It looks so cool. The blue really pops on there. Gotta give credit where credit is due. There's a reason why they're so sought after right now. Meyer Boa. Okay, I didn't. forgot that that was in set. Ancestral Vision. Still a really cool card. Not the monetary value it used to be, but still pretty awesome. And Harvester of Souls. Okay. So, we got our four Mythics. And I still have, what, 10, 11, 12? Quick count here. Packs to go, so two-thirds of the way through the box. Wow, this is this is a this was a good box. This is the last one they had. This is it. No more. And Felon of Haven Wood and Leveler. Leveler is not one of the best pulls out of the old bordered. Although it kind of syncs up pretty well with, uh, with the old laboratory maniac, so I don't know. Skin Goblin, Cloud Skate, hey, another Meyer Boa, okay. Lotus Bloom, cool. I always did like this card. Yeah, it cuts down a lot of its value when you can't use it immediately to ramp up, but seems seems still, hey, Monastery Swift Spear for another one of the, uh, the better uh, old borders. This box just keeps on giving. Okay, Time Spiral, I'll take back everything negative I've ever said about you. When you made Summoner's Pack look like a basic card to get. Okay, Big Game Hunter, Cloud Skate, Might of Old Crosa, Benelish Commander, The Lost. I can't even say it. It's impossible. And Massa Ghoul's Foil. All right. So nine packs left. Very possible to get another Mythic out of this with nine more packs remaining. Let's see what else we get out of that old border spot. Return to dust. And is it Porphyry nodes? Hey, regular Rakdos charm. Cool. Charms are always good. Choosing your effect is always good when the effect is decent and it's an instant. Gives you that flexibility. It's kind of cool in the old border. It's actually really cool in the old border. Looks like a better version of an Ice Age card. Because everything in Ice Age is trash. Harmonize. Sengir Nosferatu. Okay. Zealous Conscripts. And an insect token. So I have to imagine at this point there's not going to be too much fire to pull. So if you've watched this far, thank you for watching. And I would understand right now if you shut it off. Because it's going to be like one of those, nah, nah. This box is done. It already, it's, it's, it's already pulled everything. There's nothing left. I'm good. Next video, please. But we got a few packs. So let's see. Hey, Flagstones for a dollar. Good rare. Vandal Blast. Okay. Destroy Tart Artifact. Okay, yep. Hey, and a foil walk the Aeons. That's our third foil rare. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Not the not the big financial value, but you know, still cool. That monastery Swiss beer still looks really good in the uh, new border or old border. Okay, Pendlehaven Elder, Cottery Sliver, Saltfield Recluse, and Vesuvian Shapeshifter. And read the bones. Got a foil of that in the last opening I did. That was the foil from that slot, which kind of hurt a little bit. Besides, you know, them giving me some of the worst... <sighs> Mythics imaginable. 
But hey, 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 this box. This box is great. Hey, none of the Holy Nimbus. Cool. Heartwood Storyteller. Dismember. I love that I have to make really long pass for those uh, old boaters because there's one in every pack. But there's so many on the list that it's... There's zero guarantee of which ones you're going to get. All right. Okay. Sudden Spoiling. Manifold Key. Okay. And a Foil Bewilder. Common. All right. Last three packs. This is the intriguing time. Did we truly hit all the fire? Was the fire done? Were the last 10 packs going to be awful? Or mediocre? Let's give it that. No, let's find out. Not going to be mad if they are, but life and limb. Evolutionary leap. Okay. So still not fire, but not terrible. Just throwing packs all over the place. So happy about that ponder. That is so cool. That, that is... Oh, what's that? One of the top three cards to really pull in a set? Is that in a, in a foil? Maybe top five? I don't know. I haven't looked in a bit. There's this factory. And Muraganda Petroglyphs. And Repeal. Okay. All right, last pack. Yeah, so we definitely did hit the fire. Well, we are out of fire at this point. But this has been a successful box, to say the least. You know, Sliver Legion, Gemstone Caverns, Damnation. We even got some of the, you know, solid rares out of it. This has been an amazing box. And then you top it off with a ponder. And you gave me a second, you know, foil old, uh, old border and Rakdos charm. So this has been an outstanding opening. All right. So the last rare mythic. Draining Welk. Okay. And the last old border, Mystic Confluence. Okay, that is a solid one. All right. So with that, thanks for watching. Um, yep, there's going to be some older videos that are going to be posted for a bit. And, you know, if you want to check those out, and then once I'm all set up, then I'm going to restart the videos. Uh, Strixhaven, unfortunately, will likely be delayed uh, for that because that coincides right at that time. So thanks for watching. Bye.